Hey y'all, it's Butters, and today I'm going to be doing my Nintendo 64 game collection. Now, I've already done my Xbox 360 game collection, which I will link somewhere, an annotation somewhere on the screen. I don't know where, probably the whole thing, I don't even know. But uh, Nintendo 64 is the first console that I ever owned, and because of that, these games are extremely important to me. I do not plan to take away or add to my collection. I didn't even bother to count how many games I had, but whatever, we're just going to hop right into it. So here we go with the first game here is Pokemon Stadium. Now, I really, really enjoyed this game, mostly for the mini-games. Um, I think that was really the most popular part of this game. And this was the first Pokemon that I've ever played in my life. I never played any of the handheld games. So this is a really nice way to introduce myself to Pokemon. <laughs> so yeah, there's that game. And then this game, we got some writing on it, so I'm just going to cover that up. Uh, oops. Okay. It's Mischief Makers. And this game is extremely difficult. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's like a kind of 2D game. It's really fun. I really enjoy it. I just want to hurt something. I really enjoyed it. It's extremely difficult. I'm probably going to have to revisit it sometime in the near future. So, yeah. I know I've beaten it, but I haven't beaten it all the way through. So, it's not up to Butter's standards. <laughs> so, yeah. There's that game. Next we... Oh, my gosh. Um, Next we have Rugrats Scavenger Hunt. And this game is creepy. <laughs> like, I know it's meant to be a kid's game. It's Rugrats and stuff. But the graphics are really creepy. <laughs> I didn't really like this game. It's a giant board game. It's just really odd. I don't know. I never really played it that much, and I didn't like what I played, so I'm just going to put that down right there. All right, next game we have here is, oh my gosh, Super Mario 64. And this game, I actually fully completed this game, collected all 120 stars, I'd like to think. 120? I think it's 120 stars. I collected all 120 stars, and I got to launch myself on top of the castle and meet Yoshi. And to have Yoshi say, thanks for playing the game from our developers, I'm just like, oh, I did good. And you got like 99 lives, just like this game right here. It's so brilliant. It is. Oh my god. I actually will probably play this after I finish this video. I'm not even joking. I love that game. Next we have, what is this? MRC Multi Racing Championship? I don't remember this. Um, I, I know it's a racing game, obviously it's a racing game. But um, I don't, I didn't play it like at all, so. I, I don't know. Next we have, okay, Toy Story 2. <laughs> and this game kind of creeped me out when it probably shouldn't have, but it did. I don't know, something about the graphics and the way that the, like, characters interacted and stuff. It was just creepy to me. To me, I was younger and I was just, I don't know, I did not, I did not like this at all. And then again, a lot of games that are based on movies tend to be not so good, but, you know, one day we might be impressed. I don't know. Next we have, oh my gosh, what is this? Um, it's got some writing on it. Mystical Ninja starring Gomon. Look at that. This game is so much fun. I don't I don't even I've never heard of it. I don't even know if there's any continuations of it today, but it's so much fun. You get to switch between four characters. One of them was a girl where you could turn into a mermaid. She was my favorite. She was so cool. I was just like, oh my god. But yeah, this game's really fun. It's um I don't really know how to explain it. It's kinda like Legend of Zelda, but with ninjas and not as epic, unfortunately. But yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. You can switch between characters, and I really, really enjoyed this. So I might actually replay this too. Oh gosh. I'm going to be saying that about like all these games. I'm going to be like, I'm going to replay this. Okay, next we... Oh my... This is another one of those cases where I want to play this after I record this video. It is Star Fox 64. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how many hours I've put into this game. It is so brilliant. It is so brilliant. I loved it so much. This is where I first got my start on Star Fox, and I absolutely love Star Fox nowadays, and it is a darn shame that they are not continuing. I don't know if they've completely canceled, like, the whole series of Star Fox games, but I do know that none of them are in development. I know the interest is there because they just remade Star Fox 64 for the DS or 3DS. I think 3DS. So the, the interest is there! The fan base is there! Please make more! <laughs> Please make more Star Fox! I love it. Absolutely love it. I want to replay that. <laughs> Next we have... It's got some writing on it. It's a very infamous game because Nintendo 64 didn't have any RPGs, I guess. So this was kind of like the, oh, look, it's an RPG. Everybody buy it. So here it is. Quest 64. It's very infamous for being bad. 
Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to save on this game for some reason. I wasn't able to save my, uh, my, my data. And, um, so I didn't really get to play that far into it. But it's pretty, it, it's, it's supposed to give you options of, like, what you can do, but it's pretty linear. Like, honestly, it's pretty, it's made to be kind of, you know, you gotta do this or you will die, you know? So this is supposedly one of the worst RPGs, I suppose. So, yeah. Never had to play that much. Next, we have... Pokemon Stadium 2, and it's, I don't know if it's more fun than the first one, I don't know. One thing I like about the case, though, is that it is half gold and half gray. I do like that touch. I remember thinking that that was the coolest thing I was doing. It's got, like, sparkles on it. Can you see that? Uh, probably not. Whatever. But this was really fun, and they only just improved on the mini games. It was, I, I loved it. <laughs> I spent a lot of hours on this game, too, and um, this was second generation as well, so... Learning more Pokemon, you know, yay. More generations, more Pokemon, yay. Now they're going out of control, like, six generations now? Or going on six? I don't remember. Next, we have this game, which honestly scared me. Tonic Trouble. And it's basically, it reminds me of Rayman, but it's like a Rayman ripoff, but a creepy Rayman ripoff where vegetables try to attack you. I don't know. It was really weird. But, um, and, like, look at his smile. Can you see it? It's, like, creepy. I don't, and then the vegetables are creepy, too, like this game. I couldn't play it when I was little. I couldn't play it. My sister revisited this game, and she said, it's creepy. So, even nowadays, it's still creepy. Next, we have my favorite game for the Nintendo 64. I think. Probably. Because I spent the most hours on it out of all my games. It is Super Smash Brothers. Oh, my gosh. I can't even explain what this game has done. It is so beautiful, so much fun. It's introduced me to so many other video games because of all the characters in it. I love it. I absolutely, I can't even say it. It's like so many great things about this game. If you have not played this game, you are missing out. At least play the other two Super Smash Brothers games. Like, at least. But you need to play this one. Like, you need to. It is a must. Put it on your bucket list. You have to play it. Huh. So, yeah. Next, we have Bomberman 64. Yeah, Bomberman 64. And this game was really fun. I actually really did enjoy it. I liked the uh, versus mode. That was really fun. And um, I don't remember getting that far into the story mode, though. I remember having to go against this giant spider creature, and it scared me, and I never played it again. So now that I'm a bit more mature, maybe I'll pick it up again. We'll see. But I love it. This is a really good game. It's a lot of fun. Next, we have... Oh my gosh, I can't even. I can't even. This is, this is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And if you have not heard of this game, where are where have you been? Where have you been? It's Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It is beautiful. It is probably my second or third favorite Zelda. My first favorite is Majora's Mask, which I do know is for the Nintendo 64. I never got the chance to own it, unfortunately. But I got to play it, and I do have it for GameCube now, so it's all good. But this, like, I remember Dodongo Cavern scared the crap out of me when I was, like, six. I didn't touch the game for, like seven years <laughs> and then I finally picked it up and I beat it and I remember crying I was like this game was so beautiful it's so beautiful yeah so this game's really good put that right there all right next we have oh my goodness Donkey Kong 64 <laughs> this game I do remember some gameplay of it some gameplay like of what I remember is kind of creepy actually some of the bosses but this game is definitely a lot of fun too you have a lot of different apes to choose from. And my favorite was obviously Tiny because she was blonde, she had pigtails, and she could, like, fly around with her pigtails. But this game's really fun, too. If you haven't played it, I, I do recommend it. All right, definitely recommend it. Next, we have Glover. <laughs> and this game is very infamous for the odd uh, control scheme, but that's what I love. That's what I currently love about it. Back then, I was like, this game's too hard. I can't play it. It doesn't make any sense at all. Now it's awesome. It's definitely a challenge. So if you're looking for a very challenging game, I do recommend Glover. So yeah, he's like a four-fingered glove with like two thumbs, or maybe like a thumb and a pinky. I don't, I don't know. Either way, I enjoy it now. Back then, I did not. Oh my goodness, this is the very first game that I ever played. Yoshi's Story. <laughs> and I do remember that this game is so happy, happy, joy, joy, and it's all about you know saving the happy tree or something by eating fruit and being happy, you know? It's just like, ah, I'm so happy. 
but if you lose your Yoshi, they get taken away to a castle, and that scared me, and I ran out of the room every time it happened, because I got sad, because I killed my Yoshi. So yeah, that made me always sad. But yeah, it's still really good. I still need to replay it, just for like, just for, for old time's sake, I suppose. Next, we have, what do we have here? What is this? Cruising USA? Is there another racing game? I don't like racing games. I don't know why. I just don't like them. Next we have... Oh my goodness. Banjo-Kazooie. And I haven't played this game as much as my sister has. My sister has played the fire out of this game. She loves it. It didn't interest me that much. Um, but I do know that uh, the witch Gruntilda. Is that her name? Um, I know that Gruntilda was evil through the whole game, and, um, I really like that concept. I do remember, like, liking that, because when you finally get to face Gruntilda, it is so satisfying killing her. So satisfying. It's just like, ha, you can make fun of me throughout the whole game. Well, I'm gonna beat ya. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, really fun game. I really, I really enjoyed it, but I think my sister enjoys it a lot more. This is my last game I have, which is Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> we actually recently beat this, like two weeks ago we haven't completely beaten it but we finally got on all the characters and stuff and I, I i can't say like so many great things about this game this thing is amazing i love it i absolutely loved it it definitely ate up a lot of my time when i was younger i remember i was pipsy and when i wasn't pipsy i was conquer and i didn't know about conquer and i actually don't think uh conquer's bad fur day came out around that time did it i don't know i should have looked into that before i made this video but anyways I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I haven't played it in like 10 years, but my sister has. So, yeah. Okay. So that is all of my Nintendo 64 games. So, if you could if you guys could please leave a comment telling me what your favorite one was or any other good Nintendo 64 games that were really really good and fun to play. And um yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Thanks for watching and um if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it Give it a like, a little, little thumbs up, you know. And possibly even subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye, guys.